Alrighty, we should be live. <clears throat> Hopefully everything is looking and sounding great. I am just going to pop on, if I can find it. Sure, why not? This is what we see. Alrighty, so turn that down in my own head. Let's go ahead and get everything rolling. So, first and foremost, I need to edit my Streamlabs thing. Um, that's the one thing I don't like about the Streamlabs stuff is just the fact that it doesn't update when you're off stream. But that is okay. I can do that to myself. So. Uh, let me see here. Okay. So. And we are currently at 44. Swap back over here. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and add. That down there, just so we can keep track while I'm doing this. So, <clears throat> first and foremost. Second and foremost. <laughs> uh, so one thing I wanted to do for everybody. Uh, there are some people that are that may be new into the competitive scene, maybe new to getting into league play, stuff like that. So I wanted to go over just a small list of things. Should you be looking to either, A, you're wanting to get the proper equipment to play in league play a lot, since League Play Academy is still going to be going up. I've got a couple videos, and these are going to be on YouTube as well for you to rewatch. Um, but secondly, some people want to attend LANs, and there are a few misconceptions of what you need to take to a LAN. Um... There are some things that you really need, some things that you don't. So these are just some recommendations. Not all of them may be required, um, but these are just recommendations from past experience of what you should at least take to a LAN event. But these also um, match with some League Play stuff too, so it all works hand in hand. Um, and the reason I'm doing this now is because I had the VODs to go on YouTube yesterday and those got deleted, so... Anyways... Um, let us continue, uh, and I'm just going to do it here on the stream. So, first and foremost, <clears throat> I had a small list somewhere. I'm going off by memory. YOLO. Um, first and foremost, the one thing and the major thing that you're going to need, uh, specifically, is what you see on my head, and that is a headset. You need a decent headset, both for League Play and for LAN event. Mainly because if you can't hear anything and you can't communicate, you're not really going to be useful in either setting. So having a good headset that you can hear surround sound. Um, also something that you can uh, communicate properly, but is also comfortable. Those are the main three things. 
Uh, the three companies I usually go with are either going to be uh, HyperX, Turtle Beach, or Astro. Those three companies have always had pretty decent products. Um, I've had a few people only rock with Turtle Beach. I've personally had Hypers. Um, the ones that I got have sort of a leather interior and they kind of get hot after a while and stick, so that's the only reason I don't use them. And I get kind of fidgety with my treble and bass sounds, that's why I like the Astros a little bit better, but that's that's getting nitpicky and personal opinion-y. Um, and that, that's just my own fidgeting. I'm very OCD about what I use, so, you know, it happens. Um, <clears throat> secondly, um, the... Other thing that I need, uh, single cam 12. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. <clears throat> uh, the second thing about these specifically are the fact that these are very customizable and they're very comfortable. These have like the padded leather instead, so they keep you cool. Um, they're comfortable to wear. I've worn these for nine hour streams. I'm going to wear them when I do a 24 hour stream. Um, they're just very comfortable to wear for a very, very long time. These are the Astro 40 TRs, tournament ready. So they're, they're made for noise cancellation. They're very comfortable. Um, I used to have the old A40s and the problem with those was they had like the almost carpeting and they got really hot. Um, but they, the, the steel, uh, sides keep them from breaking, stuff like that. So the other good thing I like about these specifically is the customization. Everything's magnetized. So like if you want to pop off a nameplate, you can pop off a plate and they just snap back on. If you want to change your speaker so you like the noise canceling leather, it's also magnetized. You just pop those off and you're good to go. Five followers away from 50. I know, Harry, we're getting close. I believe. Um, these also have the... Uh, Removable microphones as well. The steel supports are also great and these rotate on a pivot so you can keep them as comfortable as you'd like um, Everything on here is pretty much customizable and, and they're easy to take off and clip back on so they're not gonna break on you This is why I like these and they're very comfortable in tandem with these you're also going to want earbuds if you're going to a LAN event um, When it comes to using a mix amp and communicating hearing game sound you need a pair of earbuds my recommendation get cheap ones it's not going to be essential that you get really good earbuds. The chances of them either getting stolen or getting lost at a LAN event is very high, um, especially if you just leave them around. So, recommendation, just go to a parts store, go to an electronics store, get a cheap pair of earbuds. Um, they can be, you know, it can be weird putting them on at first. I wear an earpiece just to hear myself, but I'm used to it. I've worn earbuds for a really long time. Um, so, get a decent headset that's going to fit you. Get a set of earbuds that... Uh, you like and can fit underneath your headset these just fit normally I'm using the PlayStation headset earpiece here and I mean that could be just as good so you can hear other sounds better um, but those are the two main things when it comes to hearing another thing that you're gonna need is a mix amp you need to have a mix amp mainly because if you don't have this you're going to be at a disadvantage when it comes to sound as well if the wires fall screw it uh, with the mix amp, you can adjust your sound even more, so it has a big old dial on the end. You can also gauge if you want to see hear game or uh, players more. But the biggest thing with these, first of all, is this little button here actually lets you change the presets from regular uh, FPS, like a movie, and then a LAN setting. So like the white noise they pump and stuff like that, you can hear better. Also, there's a Dolby setting if you like more bassy sounds. I personally don't use those when it comes to uh, playing FPS. And then on the bottom, you can see where it has a spot for your mic, for your headset, um, and then a spot for a daisy chain, which is just like two, uh, I think these are, yeah, these are just 3.0s. that let you hear everybody else. If you don't have this, you can't communicate with your teammates. If you can't communicate with your teammates, you're gonna be in trouble. Uh, after the mix amp, you start to get more into uh, some other electronics. Um, for league play wise, you're going to need a decent monitor. I run with a BenQ. I've run with BenQ since I knew BenQ was a thing, which would have been the start of Ghosts. Um, my camera sits on top of a 24 inch BenQ. I used to use that for the longest time, but it's so old that I, I had got a new one. The, the visuals started fading on it. Right now, I run with a 27 inch BenQ. Um, 
you want a decent monitor for refresh rate, reaction time to make sure everything's going to be uh, as it sits and you want to make sure that you're going to be able to have some real time reactions which is always key especially for online. Some also local lands also require you to bring like monitor and console so make sure you have something that you're comfortable with as well. Um, also with online you're going to want a decent microphone especially if you're playing on like discords or TeamSpeak, something like that. You want a clear microphone. Um, the Astros do come with a pretty decent microphone when it comes to uh, communication, but I run with a Blue Yeti right now. I'm gonna get a better one, especially for casting. What I wanna get, I don't know how much they cost, but I wanna get those small little earpiece microphones, my roommate uh, recommended it, that you see a lot of singers use and a lot of casters use, just like the little thin tan earpiece microphones. I don't know where to get one, and I don't know how much they are, uh, but I want to get the, that for casting just because it's going to be a lot closer um, and be easier to use than using this. So um, when that comes to pass, I will definitely try to get one. I need to update my title real quick. Um, flash. There we go. Um, so we got the monitor, we got that, we got the microphone. I'm trying to think if I missed anything so far. I don't believe so. Um, a couple things recommended. Number one, if you're going to a LAN event, um, take some emergency with you. Uh, it's basically just like a vitamin C supplement that you could take with you. Highly recommended because there is the LAN bug um, that everybody gets. Uh, let's see. Uh, it Monica, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, take some emergency with you, especially if you're going to your first one. The land bug is a thing, and it will hit you if you don't have any kind of like vitamins or anything like that to take with you, or just something to give you some of that vitamin C. Um, you will get sick after a land. You're shaking people's hands. You're fist bumping all the time, which is why you see people fist bump more now. Um, but when you come home, you will get land sickness. It's just a matter of how much you prepare for it. So take some kind of vitamin with you. Um, if not, at the minimum, take some G Fuel with you. At least you can stay hydrated. Um, I, I recommend taking some packs of G Fuel with you or at least a tub with you if you can. Just so that way you can stay hydrated. You can keep your vitamins in you. Um, it is healthy, so it will definitely help you. Um, that doesn't really pertain to league play because you're going to be at home chugging G Fuel anyway. So, yeah. Um, and uh, you want to make sure you're getting a decent controller. I believe this would be the last thing on my list, last but not least, uh, is a decent controller. Uh, specifically, wired, if you could find one, wired is going to give you a better connection. Personally, what I've been using recently since I switched over to PlayStation is a Scuff Vantage, which this will, I guess, also begin the. Uh, review of the scuff vantage as well um you were talking about when you go to land to a land i'm just talking about in general i'm this is anybody that can that is going to a land anytime soon harry that means you in four years uh <laughs> um but this is just in general i've been to a couple lands so this is just talking from experience so i'm not completely talking out my ass but i am a little bit um but this is just from past experience and I'm also going to Fort Worth with uh, Brandon and Mike, so I will also be there. So, and whenever I go to a LAN event, when it comes to opens, I always bring extra stuff with me because some people need extras. So hey. Um, but for the last thing that you're going to need for either playing on League Play or for go be going to a LAN, you need a controller to go with you. Most of the time, you're going to already going to have one of these, but supplying these things and, and getting them uh, ahead of time is a lot better than picking one up at the event and playing with something you're not comfortable with. Personally, when it comes to PlayStation, I've started using the Scuff Vantage. Uh, I have a Scuff Infinity for my Xbox controller. I've always run with Scuff. When it comes to modded controllers or controllers with paddles and trigger stops, I prefer Scuff over anything else. I tried to go with an Elite controller. I had problems with the Elite controller. Uh, not staying together um and there you're gonna have people that say you know oh i don't need a scuff play claw 
I'm not looking for carpal tunnel, sir. Um, <laughs> and then you're also going to have the people that say that they don't need to play with a scuff controller. They're perfectly fine. And to that I say, how many pros do you see n using regular controllers versus what you're using? And that is my main argument. Um, having the paddles on the back to be able to make sure you're hitting buttons faster, you're not taking your fingers off of the sticks. Uh, having trigger stops to make sure you're getting a faster reaction for your shooting, especially if you're playing a first person shooter, is going to give you the upper hand even if you don't think that you need it. Um, being at a disadvantage is never a good thing, especially in a LAN setting or if you're playing league play and your rank is on the line. Um, with the Vantage controller, I actually like it a decent amount. Um, with these, the actual covers are pretty easy to uh, take off as well. There's just a pop on the back, and most of this is magnetic. So you can actually just pop the case off, and you can put a new case on it. So if you want to get another design or you want to design it yourself, you could actually pop these off. They also have the... Uh, self-lubricating sticks on the inside so that way there's no actual grind so you don't have to worry about your paint chipping off either but also you don't have to worry about your stick sticking uh the triggers on the back as well are also fairly easy to switch out because there's just a little dial here i don't know if you can see that on the end it might not focus but there's a little dial there and if you twist it you basically take the trigger stops on and off so that way you can hit them uh it also doesn't come with these hair triggers those come immediately but those are actually pretty easy to take on and off as well with the sticks so you can probably tell i have two different size sticks those literally just pull on and off and they snap back on which is fantastic the rumbles also come on and out so those are also uh awesome if you're not a rumble person popping it back on is just magnetic these actually just peel off so actually you can just take the trigger there and pull up and it snaps off and then you just pull down on it and it snaps back on and now you have different triggers it comes with another set and then you can also take that set off and just play with a regular PlayStation trigger I like these just because they're longer the two side buttons I actually took off because I kept bumping them but those just peel off and stick back on too it's all clip on it also comes with this bar down here so if you slide this back and forth that actually adjusts your sound and if you tap it it can actually mute as well so you don't have to take your hands off the controller to even mute anything you can just slide your thumb over and across it works great the other thing i like about these the the uh, paddles fit exactly how i hold the controller now it may be different for different players depending on how big or small your hands are for me i pretty much rest my fingers like that so it works perfectly for me and the fact that it's modeled like an Xbox controller, it's more comfortable for me because I played on Xbox for so long. Uh, the other thing for these, because I know uh, first and foremost, paddles and uh, what's it called? Uh, basically setting what your paddles and your buttons do. There's a specific word and I've lost track of it. Um, for these are fairly easy because everything's pretty much just a slide. So... Let me just slide this one back in here. I actually think I might have this one backwards. I do. So taking them out is a lot easier than putting them back in, but it's still a whole lot easier than the way that they used to be, at least. So taking them out, they just slide out. Putting them back in, there's like a twist to them. I might even have these backwards too. Yeah, I do. So these here are actually, as I'm slowly finding out, are harder to put back in than they are to take out, but that is okay. There we go. Um, however, to take out, you just slide them out and then twist. These seem to be a little harder to put back in, though. So I'm, ta I'm docking that on my final rating with this. Um, I haven't actually tried to put these back in. I took the other paddles off because I don't use them.
There we go, okay. So, I got it back in. So basically, you just put it in from the top and it slides in, so it's actually a lot easier. So to take them off, all you do is push up on them and they slide up. And then you just twist and they come off. And then to put them back in, you actually slide them in from the top. And then, so it slides up, you slip it back in and then you just push back in. So, they're actually pretty easy. I'm just a moron. Um, but I only play with two because of where my hands fit. So, um, the only problem with these obviously is going to be price. Obviously, if your parents are buying you stuff or if you're asking for it for Christmas, a $180 controller isn't going to be the first thing that your parents are going to go, yeah. So, these ones, if you're, and, and I, I said it during the, the VOD that I had too, a lot of this stuff, um, if you're just playing, or if you're paying for it yourself, a lot of the stuff you can save for easily, and probably get all of this in the matter of three to four months, maybe less, maybe more, depending on what your job pays and how much you're working. Um, but a lot of this stuff is within a paycheck's budget, depending on bills and stuff. So, I mean, if you're 14, 15, 16, 17 year old kid, if you still live at home, you don't have any bills, you're working a job, all of this stuff is easily savable. So, um, when it comes to this controller, I gave it a 8 out of 10, just because the, uh, the price is what kind of got me on it, just because it's not going to be affordable for everybody immediately, um, but for the rest of these people that are either working or don't have any bills or anything like that, it's easily savable for, so um, that is obtainable, and that pretty much ends, uh, unless there's anything else that anybody can recommend, um, we are Get Followed Nerd. <laughs> Uh, that pretty much finishes that up, unless there's anything that I'm forgetting, which it could possibly be. Um, I know getting certain things, uh, making sure you're taking snacks, making sure you're taking drinks to keep you hydrated, stuff like that. Um, making sure you're, you're packed ahead of time too, but for League Play stuff like that, I think I pretty much covered everything, and for a LAN event, I pretty much covered everything essential. There's obviously going to be some things that people take that are going to be the the nitpicky stuff or just the opinionated stuff um that is fair on its own everybody has their own routine um however that is going to do it for those uh few things so let's go ahead then oh, that's really loud in my ears um so let's go ahead and turn the music down turn the game up Stop the music. And let's go ahead and get into some Mafia 2.